Hey everybody, this is Bjorn from WP Learning Lab. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to create a secure password for your WordPress user account that you won't forget. Now I use a secret weapon. I use an app called LastPass to store all of my passwords. And I know that sounds a little sketchy. This is the LastPass homepage here. I know it sounds a little sketchy that, yeah, that I have all my passwords stored with them because they might be hacked and then all my passwords would be out in the open. But for the, it, it's a trade-off. It's a huge amount of convenience that I gain from having LastPass versus this, the, the risk of having all my passwords exposed. And I'm willing to take that risk. But what I don't do is I don't store sensitive passwords like banking passwords and credit card passwords and anything that would open me up to identity theft. I don't store passwords for those accounts here. Those are all kept in my head. But how LastPass works is you have one main password that you don't breathe to a soul, you don't tell anybody about it, and you use that to log into the LastPass app. And the app can go on your computers, your smartphones, your tablets. Uh, there's, uh, it's installed on my Word or my Firefox browser right here. This is the LastPass app icon on the top right, the red box with the white asterisk. And it stores all my non-essential passwords and it makes my life really, really convenient. And I'm going to show you how to use that right now to create secure passwords for your WordPress account. So if we go back to our dashboard and we hover over users, click on all users, we're going to create a new password for this user account. We hover over it and then we click on edit. And we scroll right down to the bottom and we'll see two password fields, new password and repeat new password. And when LastPass is activated, you'll see a small lock icon with a circle and an arrow around it. If you click on that, it gives you the password generation options. So when you first open it, it auto-generates a password, which is seen in this field here. And what you can do is you can set password length. You could have up to a 100 character password. Let's just do that for fun you can have it have capitals, lowercase and numbers. You can set how many of the characters you want to be digits. So let's say we want 20 digits out of 100. Use special characters, check that. So that's like the exclamation mark, the at symbol, the hashtag, and so on. You can choose to make it pronounceable, which means that it's a word that someone can say or multiple words for a 100 character password. You can avoid ambiguous characters. So for example, a capital I versus a, a lowercase l. In certain font faces, those look very similar and it's hard to tell the difference. And you can require all character types, which just means that there's gonna be at least one lowercase, one uppercase, one a number, one digit, and one special character guaranteed in the password. So after you've set those settings, you can set those up as the defaults in your app. But after you've set those, you can click on this red box with the circular arrow and just keeps generating new passwords that meet, the, that meet those criteria. Now usually I keep mine at about 12 characters, not about, at exactly 12 characters. For my digits, I have three and I generate passwords. I find one I like and I click on the use password button at the bottom. It says a new password has been generated. Use this password now for this site. Yes, use for this site. And then it inputs the password into the two fields. And then all you have to do, as you can see WordPress says it says it's a strong password, which is what you want. And then what you do after you've done that, after you create the password, you click on update user at the bottom. And then LastPass has this yellow bar that appears, which says LastPass detected a password change for the user Bjorn. So what that means is I already have a user account, or I already have this user account stored in LastPass. So by changing the password, it's now asking if I wanna change that password inside LastPass as well. If I do, I can click on confirm and it automatically updates it. Or I can save it as a new site, meaning it's a second entry inside of LastPass with a new password. And really that's all there is to it. Now that now those passwords are stored after I choose one of these two, 
those passwords are now stored in my user account and I can just go into LastPass, I type in the URL, it pulls up the user accounts, all I do is click on one and it auto signs me in. It makes my life really, really easy and I encourage you to try it out, even if it's just for a bunch of basic passwords for basic non-essential accounts, you'll find it makes your life really easy. I hope this video helps you. My name is Bjorn Allpass from WP Learning Lab. Make sure you subscribe and follow us on social media and check out wplearninglab.com where we write about WordPress every single day. I'll talk to you soon.